Hello trumpet players. Today we're going to talk about why it's so important to master all 12 of the major keys. Notice I didn't say master all 12 of the major scales. Scales are just a skeleton of the key. When you master a scale, you're just mastering a finger pattern. When you master the key, you're speaking another language. That's the short of it. Now, um, there's different levels of mastering. The first level for my students so I have these exercises I call tonalization studies, and I probably wouldn't have called them that if I had known someone else was already using that label, but by the time I figured that out, I had been teaching these things and publishing them for 15 years, something like that. So pretty much the, the label had to stick because I had created like a culture around those exercises. But basically what we're looking at is standard patterns over each scale. Now, a key is sort of like an environment where the music lives, right? A tonal environment where the music lives. And since there's 12 of those, I've almost said 13, there are more than 12, but there are only theoretical keys and you know, I have stronger jazz leanings right now than I do classical leanings, and so there really isn't, in terms of written music, there's a difference, but in terms of your, your uh, actual technique, no difference between, let's say, B and C flat. All right, so anyway, so at the first level of mastery, it's when my students can play all of the keys, all 20 of the tonalization exercises, okay? Now these exercises are written in a very comprehensive way. For example, every exercise goes to the top of your range, every exercise goes to the bottom of your range, every exercise uses uh, four variations so that you cover every possible uh, combination of notes within that key. So when a student can do all 12 of the tonalization studies, something happens at that level in the way they see the music. Now, at the next level, the next time we do the, the tonalization studies in the lesson, I'm asking them to do them by memory now. Now think about that. We're talking about, I don't remember how many pages, but it's like 50 pages, 40 pages of material that they're going to play for me completely by memory. Now that sounds intimidating, but it's not because it's very logical. You don't really have to play it by memory. You just can play it by ear. And you can also play it by common sense, if that makes any sense. Okay, but yes, something happens. So it happens a little bit at that first stage where they just can play it while reading it. But when you get to now that second stage, you know what I like to see, the way I like to see it is that the neurons, like the neural net inside, inside of your head, something clicks. There's a connection that's, that gets made and I promise you, if you get to, the, to that level of mastery, you will never look at music the same way again. You will never think about music the same way again. You will be transformed. Um, music to you will not be what it used to be. And you know, I deal often with students have that, I shouldn't even say students, some of them are pros, that haven't develop that level of mastery. And for example, when I hear someone complain about a double sharp or about a B sharp and stuff like that, 
These people haven't mastered all 12 keys. They can play all 12 scales. They haven't mastered all 12 keys. There's something that happens, and, and, and I know that this sounds like a wasted video because I can't really put it into exact words. But it's not when they get to that level, it's not really notes anymore. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You're not playing notes anymore. You're playing sounds, you're playing uh, tones, tones that are part of a big picture, the to tones that are part of a tonal environment. But you don't get there until you've done all 12. So here's what happens is we think when we play C major, F major, G major, you know, the easy keys, we think that when we do that, we have a, an understanding of what music is and how music works. We understand the one chord, the four chord. We understand the harmonies, but we don't. There's a level of understanding that's missing. And uh, you know what? I think the reason why it's like this is because the keys overlap each other. So, for example, the, the first the first uh, four notes of the C major scale are the last four notes of the F major scale, right? C, D, E, F is the first part of the, of the C scale. It's the last part of the F scale. And th when you go through all 12 of the keys, you are going through each one of these pairings. So I think part of what you're learning when you master all the keys is this, uh, on a subconscious level, you're, you're learning the uh, cycle of fifths. You're learning chromaticism. You're learning music. The, the essence of what m tonality in music is it's, so if you're only mastering half of them, let's say you're good at up to three flats, three sharps. If you're only doing that much, you, there, there's a connection that's made in your mind that's missing. Okay? I don't have a better way to put it than that. Now, so I know that sounds airy-fairy. It doesn't sound very convincing. But now let's talk about what it's going to do for your playing. So that, that part's just the theory. But the practical side of this is that it does transform your musicianship. It's going to help you play better in tune. It's going to ha help you have better technique. It's going to help you have a better sound. When you master all 12 of your keys, it's going to help you improvise. It's going to help you sight read. It's going to help you with better rhythms. And I'm going to tell you, if you haven't mastered all 12 of the keys, and, and, and if you can't play uh, those 20 patterns that I'm talking about, I'll put a video out later about the, the tonalization studies. Uh, but if you can't play something the equivalent of those 20 patterns in every key, by memory, you're not there yet. So I can promise you that um, if you haven't done that yet, you're not as good as a sight, of a sight reader as you could be. You're not, you don't have as good of a sound as you could possibly have. You're not playing as in tune as you could possibly play. Okay? So that's why it's so important. And you cannot replace what you get from mastering all the keys with other more direct mechanics. In other words, you can't get, you cannot replace uh, the effects of playing better in tune from what you get from mastering all the keys by working on intonation. There, there's no comparison between the two. Yes, you can work on your intonation, but it's kind of a wasted effort. 
because what you're going to get out of mastering all the keys is so far beyond what you'll possibly be able to do just by working on intonation, putting your tuner out, watching the strobes and all that stuff. That's com in, in comparison, that's almost a waste of time. Same thing with your sight reading, same thing with your improvisation. Did I say improvisation earlier? Improv is one of those things that will be better if you master all your keys. Even if you don't, and that's the thing, is you don't have to use all the keys for this to happen. There's keys that rarely come up in my career. Um, now I do, my exercises and all that stuff cover all the keys, partly for this reason. But in my performance life, there's keys that rarely come up. So it's not about, you know, that's the first level is that if, you know, people always say, well, if you master all your keys, then you can play music in that key. Um, yeah, that's like the basic benefit that you can now play in that key. Uh, but it's so much more than that. It goes way, way, way beyond that. The benefits are countless and you know when i when i talk about these benefits i'm really talking about the benefits it's the same thing as when i'm telling people why should they do my tonalization studies those are the same benefits i tell them it's going to help your sight reading it's going to help your intonation it's going to help your tone it's going to help your phrasing that's one i didn't mention earlier there's so much that is that that these that mastering all 12 keys does for you and you can't get it from another source. Those things you might be able to do a little bit by, do, by addressing those things directly. But there's such a powerful change that happens when you master your keys that you would wonder, it, sitting on the other side of that change, you'll look back and say, you'll wonder why anybody would waste their time Hitting those things directly. Really. Anyway, so that's what I've got for you today. It is extremely important to master all your keys because it, it transforms your musicianship to a much higher level. All right? So thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like the video, click like. And other than that, I'll see you on the next video. God bless you and thank you very much.